We vlogging and we vlogging and we vlogging and we vlogging. Hey vlog, happy Friday. Um, it is the weekend, well I consider Friday the weekend. I don't know what you consider it, but um, I feel like I have a lot of things, a lot of events this weekend, so I thought, why don't I bring my besties with me? Cause y'all just need to know everything about my life. <laughs> um, so it's Friday morning, it's like eight o'clock. Me and Marlon are trying out this new gym called The Refinery. It's in, I guess it's in Marietta. It's not really in Atlanta, but it looks super nice, super cute, very aesthetic. So let's see what it's hitting on. Y'all, this looks so fancy. I feel like it's really gonna hit. Why are you walking like this? Food. No, you're, you're literally not. <laughs> That's over here. Hey. Y'all, this gym is so nice. We're on like this outside part. Look, they have like this outdoor stretching area. Why can't they hear me? And so I'm gonna show y'all the inside. <laughs> you be quiet. I'm gonna show y'all the inside we get, but like this is just so nice. Uh, Yeah, you know, that's not elevated music. The test is completed. I should take my pants off. These kind of heavy. Can't let go. No, it's printing. Oh. Oh, stop playing. Okay, okay. It's cute. It's cute. This is real cute. Stop playing. Y'all look at her feet. She need to fill in on that bed. I mean. <laughs> The acrylic that grew all the way off that motherfucker. Yeah. I need to get them chopped off because now my, my shoes is too... Jesus. Okay, this is crazy. Because now my shoes toe. is too small because the nails is too long. Look at that big toe, y'all. She got a gap between that motherfucker too. God damn. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I don't blame you. Put that bit back on. I don't blame you. Not one bit. Jesus. She gonna <laughs> I zoom all the way in on that bit too. That bit like a reptile foot. Dude. That'd be like a real tough foot. Let's see your shit. Yeah, nah, we're gonna stop it right here. It's just too much on that paper. Yeah. You was making me chuckle, but I wasn't talking. Let's look at my What kind of feet he got? Cute foot. Yeah, a little ashy. They look like some reptile feet. Boy, 189 pounds. The test is completed. Let me let y'all see what this shit say. Not what people know. Let me let y'all know what this shit say. Yeah, go ahead and run that. Let's run see. Marlon Banks. This motherfucker say, I am 100% that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker said 100% that nigga. He ain't talking about him. 189 pounds as far as fuck. That's you're, what this motherfucker say. And you're getting cut off. Nothing else. 189 pounds of fine as fuck. That he ain't talking about. Wait, this is a fine biscuit. I feel like this is like a... Oh, I'm thinking of another broken egg. Oh, no, bro, I had a fine biscuit. Or something. It's like a what's, chain. What's down? Is that down? Where is in Atlanta where they have the rose painted rainbow and shit? Oh, Midtown? I have a fine biscuit down there, I think. That's what I'm busting. There's a lot. I'm confused why this is so nasty. And y'all, the chef's might not be for me. The chef's might be the waiters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to whip that bitch out of stuff. Like this sausage, bro? Yeah. 
I'm trying to look around and see, and see who's coming here and saying this is good. No. <laughs> nah, these are the regulars. We look, we look out of place. <laughs> How is it? Not something you should pay for. <laughs> it's <really> disgusting. <laughs> like this. Foul. Foul. Horrendous. <laughs> yeah, like just out of this world, literally. And not in a good way. <laughs> Caitlin had raw chicken. <laughs> eggs, it's powdered eggs. Water came out the sewer tank. Like, come on now. <laughs> fish tank water. What that face you be doing? Mm. Zoom in on that dude. Let me look at the road. That shit is disgusting. <laughs> back home now i'm still not over how nasty that food was but today is my mom's birthday so um i had like ordered her some cupcakes i'm gonna go pick up in a little bit before i go over to her house but i'm gonna try to get her a present so she told me like a few weeks ago she asked me if i would go with her to watch like the hip-hop nutcracker it's like a play so i'm gonna just get her tickets for us to go to um, so I'm about to try to order them right quick and then we're gonna be over to my mom's house. It's 2 23 and I live in Atlanta. She doesn't live in Atlanta, so going to her house, if you live in Atlanta, you know it's gonna be a lot of traffic. So I was really trying to leave by two, but when does on time ever happen for me? Alright, I got the tickets, I got the cake. I'm going to get like a birthday card closer to her side of town, like I said, so I am ahead of traffic a little bit. I feel like I'm still going to be in it. It's 3 o'clock. I'm also starving, but the thing is my mom gets off at 5, so either she's going to be also starving and she's going to go to eat, or either she's going to say like her co-workers bought her lunch and she's not going to be hungry for the rest of the day. So regardless, I feel like if I don't wait for her, she'll be dramatic, she'll have attitude. So I'm gonna wait for her, I guess like two hours, hopefully she got some snacks at the house while I wait. I really wanted to get my nails done, but you guys know me, I never leave the house on time. So, I mean, I wanna be there when she gets home from work, cause I feel like she don't have attitude if I'm not. Even though she doesn't know I'm coming, it's supposed to be a surprise, but I feel like she still expects me to come. So I don't think she's gonna be surprised even if I'm there. Um, so yeah. See y'all there. Oh, oh my god, that shit. Oh. Hey, like, you see these pants? <laughs> oh my god, that shit. Oh, he's got one of Got that shit on. Oh, Happy birthday, mom. Oh, thank you, Kate. You're welcome. I could tell by the way Chase doing all that talking. What kind of pants you got on? Not you copy me. You got you buy my pants. Oh, yeah. They, they oh, don't they fit? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, got that. James. <laughs> Love you. Buki. Caitlin. Let's see here. The Fox Theater. Oh, I can't read this mall right. Event day 12 3 7 30. The Hip Hop Nutcracker. Ooh, orchestra. So I got red velvet, Oreo, and white chocolate. So tasty. I don't know if a piece of cake is only like in Atlanta or not. I don't know if it's everywhere, but if you're in Atlanta, this is that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to mom. Happy birthday to you. What do you wish for? Period. Don't tell nobody to wish. Keep it to yourself. That's right. How old are you turning? 61, and I'm so happy about my great 61 years ahead of me. Why are you doing a post-game interview? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Saturday now, Saturday morning, um, and I am about to go to the gym. They're having, this is so Atlanta, like, but they're having, like, a workout and a brunch after. <laughs> But um, I'm too late for the workout, so I'm going to just go for the vibes for a little bit. And then after that, tomorrow, I am going to uh, my sister's brunch for her birthday. And the outfit, like, theme is 
nude colors so i need to go to there and like find something to wear and then i also want to get my toes done because y'all saw what was going on yesterday i feel like you know that point when you get like acrylics i got acrylics on my toes in september it's november you know the point when they grow out so much and now your shoes are too small that's what's going on so i really need my feet done and then also I'm going to another, my uncle's having a 60th birthday party tonight. So that's what's going on today. I'm about to go to the gym. I'll show y'all my outfit right quick and we gonna go. All right, so y'all know I'm such a new girl. So I have on this brown uh, shirt from Sheen, these leggings, crunched as legs. I have on my Sakai's and a little uh, white bag to tie in all the colors. That's it, let's go. Yo, look how crazy this is. Can you even see? There's just cars everywhere. Ah, this is the gym, y'all. The gym, not the club, the gym. <laughs> So I didn't find anything at the mall, which is not surprising because I never find anything at the mall. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna figure out something that I have already. It's like everything in the mall was like sweater dresses and that's cute, that's cool. But it's November and it's still 70 degrees in Atlanta. So that would be kind of kind of ridiculous. So I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the nail salon right quick. It's actually really ironic because while I was in the mall, not only did I stub my toe, my big toe that already has the acrylic that's grown out, so that hurt, but I got a text message from the nail salon saying if you come today, you can 15% off. 15% off. So guess where we're on the way to. <laughs> so obviously I'm back home. It's 5:10. The party starts at 7:30. Um, for my nails, I just got brown. I'm not like a color girl. Like in the summertime, I'll literally get white every time. Like I might experiment with a little lavender or something, but that's about it. And then when it's not the summertime, I just get different shades of brown. <laughs> um, so I did that and I got a little food and I came back home. Now I'm getting ready. So it is like cocktail evening attire for the party. So I know what I'm going to wear because, I mean, so I know what I'm going to wear because I don't really have a lot of classic clothes. So I don't have too many options to choose from. <laughs> so um, the outfit I'm wearing, it's like, a, it's all black. It's like black and silver. So I kind of want to do some color, like an eyeshadow to keep it fun because like, I don't know why everyone like just only does like the nude makeup now like are we not bored you have the same look every single day like let's let's pick something new so since I'm wearing black I want to do something I feel like burning me is safe that's kind of what I always do so do I want to play it safe or step out the box but then it's like but what other color is there so I don't know I think I'm gonna do a, like a burgundy look burgundy eye look but we'll see what happens so i have this morph palette and it has all these colors i don't really like to do purple because it can give black eye pretty quickly and i don't want to give like to pink because it's evening time that's why i was kind of saying burgundy but I also have a throwback modern renaissance and I feel like that has a lot of fall color so I definitely think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I did this matte cranberry color in my crease. I mean I'm a lid and I usually don't do matte. That's a lie. I usually don't do like matte colors. I don't like matte nudes but I don't know. This is ugly. I feel like it's ugly but I don't know. I gotta let me see. Let me get back to work. So while I still think it's ugly, I don't think I dare. I tried to put a little bit more of the lid color in the crease to blend them together and I feel like that helped a lot. I don't think it's coming up. Is it coming up on camera? As like burgundy as it is. Yeah, and it's not blended very well because like if you know about makeup, Modern Renaissance palette is old. Like I'm sure this is very expired. So the cup, the pigments aren't buttery enough to like smooth, and, smooth out enough of my lid. So, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. But with the full face of makeup and lashes, I feel like it's going to come together. And if it don't, it just don't. 
who's gonna beat my ass right so i'm about to prime my face i use the milk makeup hydro primer i thought i might have said this in my last vlog for foundation i use Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's extremely full covered, so I don't really recommend it, but I'm not buying nothing else until this runs out. So, then I use the Milani um, concealer, and I use a little bronzer from, what is this, Modern, or no. I don't know where it's from, but yeah. So, I'm about to beat my face. So, my makeup is already eating i don't know i don't know if y'all can see but something i learned so i have like really bad like smile lines and like creases and stuff so what i learned that like helps them not crease anymore i start doing this after i put all my concealer on i spray my face so i spray my face now and then again when i'm fully done with my makeup and every time you spray your face you always gotta press in the the mist into the makeup. Feel me? Just a little tip. And then after this, I'm still gonna set my face with my powder, Laura Mercier bronzer, blush, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, when I'm done with makeup, I'm gonna spray my face again for the second time. I've been wearing like small lashes recently, and these are like scary big. I don't know. I feel like these are kind of big too. I don't know if I'm becoming like a small lash girl or what, but these feel aggressive. Maybe it's because my makeup is a different color. I usually have like like a lighter lid color, so that might make it look less aggressive. Or maybe that'll make it look more aggressive. I don't know. But this is all I got, so I guess big lashes. Big lashes it is today. Okay, okay, okay. So I put my hair up so it can really give face. Cause the face is tea, baby. The face is tea. But uh, I'm sure y'all off it in a minute. I have these earrings. I don't know if they're gonna be like too much or not. If they are, I have some other hoop options in my car. Y'all, I don't like. If you know me, I don't wear earrings. I don't own earrings. These I stole from my mother to wear at a wedding. Like, babe, I just me and earrings. Remember the last time I wore them, I had to like. Shove, shove it in my ear to re-pierce it. I definitely feel like it's too much. It's a lot going on. You can't see the rest of my outfit, but there's also the same stuff going on. Yeah. When you see the rest, you're like, oh yeah, babe, that's way too much. Um, so I think I'm going to try to do the hoop setter in my car. So we'll take this off. And then, let me move y'all down so y'all can see. So like this is really pissing me off, but... I don't feel like taking my iron out, so I'm gonna try to. I feel like I just I just feel like that would do something. Oh my titty did exactly what I needed it to do. I knew I was on to something. I knew I was on to something. Okay. Yup, yup, yup. Cause it's like, who has time for an iron? That's crazy. That is crazy. Ooh. Ooh, it's hot, baby, it's hot. Okay, so I got the fit together. I'm gonna show you guys the outfit in a minute. Uh, what am I about to do? What am I about to do? I don't know. I'm looking at my lip combo. It looks so good. So, um, I did a new lip combo today. I usually do. Well, let me show y'all. Oh, where's my, um, oh, here we go. Okay. So, as, like, a lip liner, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick, matte lipstick in the color Rust. So, I usually use, for the other color, I usually use the Morph Lip, um, lip, what are these called? I can't remember, not lipstick, but whatever. Liquid lips. I usually use the Morph Liquid Lip in the color Peanut. But as you can see, like, I feel like it always comes out, like, looking too pink. So, I got this more yellow kind of tone color. And it's the color Bite Me. And I just feel like this is, like, the perfect, like, nude. It came out more neutral, more brown, as opposed to 
this one but these i like them both though but i might put a little lip, no i don't want to put lipstick i was gonna put lip gloss on but i feel like it already eats like this y'all i'm so obsessed with my face it's crazy so i'm gonna take some like little selfies little boomerang and go my other earrings are in the car and i'm showing my outfit and then yeah we're gonna go all right so this is the outfit i have this two-piece blazer on from zara um, i have these little pumps and i have this little silver bag so this is why i said like the earrings will be a lot because i have like this silver tassel situation silver situation silver situation silver situation so i don't know they might be cute but i have some more earrings in the car i'm gonna try and then for perfume i have Mark Jacobs Daisy. It is more of like a daytime, springy perfume, but once again, who's gonna beat my ass about it? Nobody. Whoop de doo. So let's go. So I thought the party was at 7 30. Apparently it's at 7, so I'm gonna be there at 8. And I feel like I like I said at this point I think my family expects me to always be 30 minutes to an hour late. But like I'm okay with being 30 minutes late. I feel like while that might not be the best thing i still feel like i expect anyone to be 30 minutes late at least anywhere but an hour late i feel like that's just disrespectful like like girl you didn't even try you didn't even care about me so i kind of feel bad <laughs> Share this time together. All we leave are those memories. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. And the time that we spend together. <laughs> so let's take those opportunities to spend time together. Okay. Well. Nice. I am home. It's 12:43. Y'all, the party wasn't even over. I just knew like how far I had to drive home and I'm like, I just need to go. And I just feel like there's absolutely nothing worse than like getting home after the night and having to take your makeup off. Like that is the most exhausting process in life. So here we are taking our makeup off. Makeup is still eating, face is still sitting. Yeah. So I don't know, I had a blast. It was really fun i got to see my family and everything um i'm just like mad at myself beating up myself because um that party that i was just at my dad's house and then the brunch that i'm going to tomorrow are all like five to ten minutes from each other so i should have packed the stuff for the brunch first in the morning with me and just spent the night at my dad's house so i didn't have to drive back out there tomorrow morning when I was already out there tonight. That is so much. I like one thing about me, I hate driving. So if I'm ever like in the vicinity of my parents' house and have to do something the next day, or even if it's like late and I'm just in the vicinity of my parents' house, like I'm gonna go to their house. There's just no reason for me to be driving all the way back home if that's the case. So I'm really mad at myself for not bringing my stuff. I still have no clue what I'm gonna wear. Um to the brunch tomorrow so I didn't really find nothing at the mall and also today is um 
Sun, I guess now it's Sunday, but it's like November 19th. Um, it's the week now of Thanksgiving. And so for my business, <laughs> oh, for my business, I'm doing a Black Friday sale this week. So not only do I have to find something, so the brunch is at 12. So not only do I have to find something to wear in the morning, I also have to fill my um, Black Friday content announcement edit it and schedule it to post all before I go to this brunch because I'm also after the brunch I'm also going to Friendsgiving at like 5 p.m. tomorrow so tomorrow is definitely a jam-packed day so I'm gonna have to do all of that so I'm gonna have to wake up at like maybe like 7 to get all of this done yeah to get all this done and filmed and all of that so that's where we're at tonight I'm gonna take this makeup off and get in the bed i'll see you guys tomorrow good night good morning y'all it is 10 15 i finished my makeup um for today i'm waiting for my lashes to dry so i can put them on um so it's 10 15 the brunch is at 12 so i actually i thought i was i was off to a bad start because i didn't get up i didn't start getting ready till nine um does that make sense it only took me an hour doing my makeup mm, okay period um but i'm not so i have to probably live for the brunch at 11 30 i'm gonna be on time today i'm gonna really be on time so i have like an hour and maybe a half to film my video edit it and schedule it to post um, but I think it's going to be a fairly easy video. This, what I'm saying is not too crazy. I feel like it's something I can remember. Because if y'all ever see me, like, filming, like, what, the coaches content, um, posts that I be making, bro, I be stuttering like a mother. So, that's where we're at with it. I still have no idea what I'm wearing, so I didn't find nothing at the mall yesterday. So, I'm going to have to figure something out, but we'll figure that out after we do the video. Okay, the best thing I could put together is this lip to white tie up top in these brown pants the pants have like flips at the bottom and i'm going to put on some new heels um and then i have my brown bag and for the scent i have valentina born valentino born in roma it's the green one not the pink one um it's 11 56 it starts at 12. i was totally going to be on time today i was going to be on time but then I, I was editing my video and I used the SD card and then I lost the SD card to finish the vlog. Whatever, I couldn't find the SD card, I couldn't find my shoes. So that took me like 20 minutes. So anyways, we're on the way. I'll probably only be like 20 minutes late though, so that's good. Y'all, why did I just spend another five minutes looking for my car keys and they were in my hand? At this point, I'm just like annoyed with how annoying I am. But we're on the way my camera actually fits in my purse so i'm definitely going to try to vlog i feel like it's going to be so cute knowing my sister and like she sends us the menu for the thing and it's like really good food and there's also a mimosa bar so i just think i'm gonna be drunk all day because y'all know i'm going to friendsgiving later so it's gonna be one of the days what's that saying they be like black people know about a party for two months and then they be in in the parking lot still getting the gift together oh for sure that's what's happening. Hmm? Maybe only if I grab ticket for dessert. Oh, 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 for What flavor are you gonna get me? The yeeny. Just a little though, not too much. A couple blackberries. Not the blackberry. Bone and appetite.
back home. The brunch was super cute. Very well put together. It's 3 o'clock. Friendsgiving is at 5 o'clock. I don't know how I'm gonna make it for real, y'all. Like, those back-to-back -back parties have me so drained. I just, I, I need to lay down. Like, there's just nothing, nothing productive is gonna happen. So, I'm about to try to sleep for an hour and a half. And I'll see y'all at Friendsgiving. Y'all really have no clue how I am about to make it. I am like so beyond tired right now. This weekend has really just exhausted me and I just don't, I just don't know. But I'm trying to have a positive attitude. The outfit I had ordered, so you guys know I'm doing a Friendsgiving and this is shades of brown. It's a dress coat. The outfit I ordered came back crazy. It looked like a maternity outfit. I don't know, but it looked insane. So I'm just wearing something I already have y'all when i get there i'm on the way to get some ice we'll give me a red bull i don't even know if red bulls work but i feel like i need me something so i'm gonna stop at the gas station to be on the way so i'll see y'all there but also right quick also right quick can we talk about how flawless my makeup looks i did this at like nine in the morning and it's still holding up so we made it to friendsgiving cute little plates what kind of drink are you making you want to sell them i'm making Thanksgiving margarita. Okay, period. Got some tequila, some yeah, cider. We got some cider. We got some apple juice, just in case the cider doesn't do it. <laughs> and some pear. Okay, oh, pear, period. Yeah. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute. What else? Got some food over there. Wanna say hey to the vlog maker? Nope. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Um, we are icing, put icing on the cupcakes. Cute. What kind of cupcakes are they? No, so that's what I don't they look like cinnamon like, or something. Yeah, like cinnamon, yeah. yeah. Cinnamon, cinnamon buns? Yeah. That's creative, I've never seen that before. It smells really good. Love it. I should have brought my crop up. I know, mine's my card and for like curing it, to be honest. Don't for real? Yeah. I don't think it's tall. This is this tall enough? That is tall enough. Kind of, sort of. You want to say hey to the vlog? Hey y'all, it is the day fit girls giving, not friends giving, girls giving. And it's about to be lit. We're all in our brown, looking good, period. Look out for these on my boots. Legs are dropping very, very soon. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I do need something. Are you still in the vlog? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. YouTube, yeah. I need like what I said I was gonna do in the beginning. I'm gonna be talking about that something. A little lecture, a little right. A little, a little. No, we could have kept those. Like, I don't know. You <laughs> did real quick. Wait a minute. And then she dropped the thing. Anybody bring a charger in here? Phone charger? Nobody did? Nobody did? Are you singing? <laughs> <laughs> You're being responsible to All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right,
energy to have a better time the makeup is still eating y'all I did of course my lipstick is gone but I mean I did my makeup at 9 a.m. and it's 11 p.m. that's like over six hours so really try that setting spray trick where you spray the setting spray when you do your concealer I'm taking it off now and I just use um, granny micellar water but yeah this is the end of the weekend I'm like so happy to be home I Weekends are literally never this social, <laughs> never contain this much partying and drinking, but I honestly had a good time anyway. I'm glad I saw my family, glad I hung out with my friends, but I can't do this again. I'm about to go to bed when I take this stuff off and take a shower, and I'm not setting an alarm tomorrow, so if I wake up to work out, I wake up to work out. If I don't wake up to work out, I don't wake up to work out. Um, <laughs> but for the past like week, literally all last week, I've been trying to watch Jump In, and I always fall asleep in the first 10 minutes. So I'm going to watch it tonight. Um, honestly, at this point, like, if I'm really tired, I know to watch it. And it puts me to sleep. But I actually want to watch it. But I just can't help falling asleep. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm glad you guys got to spend the weekend with me. It's super fun. And I'll see y'all next time. Whatever next time is. Good night.